Yo, 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 guys, we are back. It's your boy Vert here. Sorry so much for the long hiatus on YouTube. I promise we're back. We're on the grind. YouTube videos, YouTube shorts. We're going to have TikToks. I'll link that in the description below. But thank you guys for being patient. I hope you've been having a great summer so far. Today, we got a, an Awaken Megu PVE content video for you. This is just going to go over the basics and help you guys min max your grind, get the most out of her kit and really help you overall understand the kit. So without further ado, let's get into it. Light it up. All right, first things first, before I dive into the class, this gets asked at least a million times in every single one of my videos. Vert, what's a costume? Vert, what's your character wearing? How do I get it? What is it? So I'm going to go over that first things first in this video. Okay. The costume, big shout out to Panda for the colors. Absolutely beautiful dye job. So real quick, we got the lunar blue helmet. We got the Tabok armor. We got the Salinar gloves and we got the lunar blue shoes. Okay. So that's the costume. That's the fit. If you guys are trying to rock it, I'm loving it. I feel like the main character in an anime looks really good with the movement as well. If you guys want the costume, there it is. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to cover in this video is going to be gearing. For my Megu, I went evasion. I would recommend that for most players. She has a very good evasion passive as well as on her dash. She has a 9%. And then while her e-buff is active, you can actually activate a 15% evasion buff. That's one of the biggest in the game. It's going to make you extremely tanky. Overall, I think evasion is the play for this class. For my artifact setup, right now I'm rocking Deathblow in PvE. A lot of her harder hitters do have 100% crit rate, so I can understand why you might choose something else. But you'd be surprised how much damage a lot of the filler does. And most of the crit rate on those skills is going to be around 30%. So just ensuring I have the extra crit rate from death blow plus the add-ons is going to make sure I'm critting as much as possible, even when I'm using some of the smaller skills. Taking a look now at our crystal build that we have going for Megu. I picked up two darkness from the new region as well as two decimation. This is going to give you that nice monster damage, AP accuracy and back attack from these two crystals. I have the red Fang Valor. This way I have five crit everywhere I go and I'm not reliant on my elixirs in order to reach that. And then again, it's just more AP. I also have powers, which is gonna be more raw AP. I have Acrid for accuracy, monster damage, attack speed. I run Olkiss for the accuracy and attack speed. One thing Megu is lacking on is accuracy. So depending on where you're grinding, you might need to add these or Vipers or Elkars into your build. And then last but not least, I'm just running two Rebellious. This is one of the best crystals overall for PVE at the moment, and I would highly, highly recommend it. This specific setup is what I rock when I'm grinding Gyphon primarily, and also when I'm doing something like Boss Rush. All right, guys, now we're gonna take a look at Megu's kit and probably the most important system that you need to learn to min max your time on this class. So, Spirit Forged, what is it? Spirit Forged, there's a bunch of skills in the kit that enter you into the Spirit Forged state. Once you're in the Spirit Forged state, it's gonna allow your abilities to have bonus effects. Those bonus effects and those abilities that receive the bonus effects actually help stack the crit damage. So, to make this as simple as possible, we're going to go over the skills that stack up the crit damage. That's going to be a shift F twirling Fox flare and the flow. You have twirling Rhapsody. And then these six skills down here. That's it. Those skills, the one, two, three, nine skills right there. Those are going to be your extenders. If you need to ramp up the crit damage buff more or you want to activate these skills after any of your spirit forged abilities to start stacking the crit damage buff. So that means you can use WRMB, you can use WF, 
you have a ton of options to get yourself into the spirit forge state so now that we understand that a little bit let me break it down and show you guys how i enter into spirit forge and combo all right guys i'm going to show you guys the most effective way to enter into spirit forge and stack your buff up to level three so you're just going to do wrmb which is going to enter you into the spirit forge state and then you're going to do two hits of srmb into rmb and that's what it looks like right there we have 10 percent crit hit damage we have a ton of add-ons that i showed you guys earlier as well as your 20 ap from srmb and you're getting your 30 percent crit from a flux fair flesh so the two together gonna put you into level three because srmb is two hits and then wrmb puts you into spirit forge state so once again 10 percent crit get you on your way now we're going to talk about the dp shred that's in awaken megu's kit unfortunately she doesn't have any evasion shred but she does have ember claw slash which is going to be dp shred of minus 20. you can see we have the add on there for another minus 15 for 10 seconds so effectively as long as you're maintaining the 100 uptime that you can with this debuff whatever you're fighting is always going to have minus 35 dp so very important skill to make sure you're using off cooldown keep it in your rotation it flows really well off of most of your skills and also as you can see in the tooltip it puts you into spirit forge mode if you maybe dash or you miscalculated and you need to pick up the buff again all right now that we understand the spirit forge state we understand our buffs the debuffs now it's time to get into the comboing the first combo I have for you guys, this is what I've been using again, a lot of Gyphon. I've been using this at Hex. I even did some Crypt grinding and this combo overall works pretty well for me. Something great about Awaken Megu that I haven't seen a whole lot of people talk about or really touch on is how easy it is for her to get to the back of her opponents. So in the combo that I just showed you, for example, I used F into Shift F, and that's going to ensure that you land all of your Shift F attacks into the back of the mob. Now, some other options you have to get to the back of the mob very easily is going to be A, D, R, and B. That's going to take you right back. You can use SF and go right through. Also a great option. So between those three, you can always ensure that you're getting the back attacks and really making the most out of your combos and just your overall damage. As far as comboing goes, outside of what I've taught you guys already, you can really freestyle a lot with Megu. She gives you a lot of freedom, a lot of really short cooldowns. So don't be too afraid that you're messing up the combo or you're going to get it wrong because chances are, as long as you're keeping your AP buff up, your crit buff up and your DP shred on the enemy, you're already doing pretty damn good. So the last thing I want to talk about with Awaken Megu are just some of the different options you have within the kit. As far as the cores go, typically people pick up Ember Claw Slash or Twirling Fox Flare. I prefer Twirling just because it's a longer animation gives you a longer frontal and it flows into the super armor the shift lmb by itself is already a pretty fast animation especially when you combo it after abilities you're not going to have a huge gap there so that's why i choose twirling also keeps you protected after using f so that's a great option as far as the other ones go they're going to be more pvp oriented you really want that extra forward guard as far as add-ons go, this is currently what I'm running. I have the crit and back attack on Ember Claw, as this is usually my finisher. I have Ember Claw Slash giving me a bit of accuracy and again, adding additional DP Shred to the ability that already gives you DP Shred, making it a total of minus 35. Twirling Fox Flare, I have monster damage. And then I just go ahead and reapply the minus DP debuff. It's a bit of a decent AOE, so it makes sure that all the mobs are tagged with that shred ember claw finale i have the huge t3 add-on on so we got the 30 monster damage and we have the big crit hit damage 
since you're going to be looking for near 100% crit rate while you're grinding. And then the last two skills are going to be your RMB and your SRMB. And this just kind of stacks with the pre-buffing that you're doing already. So not only are you going to have the AP and the crit rate from RMB and SRMB, you're also going to have these four add-ons. So you can see right when I go into a combo, my buff bar is looking immense. On top of already having the max rank crit damage, we have over six add-ons and buffs. It's juiced. And that's something that in the middle of your combo, you know, make sure you're just always throwing that up. Again, it's a very low cooldown. You want to get those add-ons up, the crit damage, the AP, you know, basically max damage. All right, guys, and that's going to do it for the video. It was a short one. It was brief. You know, I went over the basics. If you guys have more questions, feel free to leave anything down in the comments below, and I will try to get to it or make another video to address those questions. Another thing I just wanted to bring up is Awakening Megu is a very, very fresh class, very new to BDO, and she's already receiving changes on Global Lab. So, for example, now you are able to keep your crit damage buff after you dash whereas right now you can't so in the future we'll be getting that but in the meantime again just that wrmb into srmb rmb combo will allow you to re-enable your crit damage buff and get back into that spirit forge mode so just make sure you're paying attention to that until we get those changes i'll continue to make updated guides when we get those updates as well as movement guides and pvp there's anything else you guys would like to see on Megu or just on the channel in general, let me know. Also, don't forget, we're going to be getting back into TikTok and YouTube shorts as well. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm out. Peace.